Hey everybody, MotorPoet59 here. Last week I posted a video, my opinion, about uh, Sweden and Finland joining NATO. This was my opinion. And I want to say before I go any further that when you create a video on uh, YouTube, and those of you who have a channel probably already know this, YouTube tells you there's a section in there where you can tag, where you can make tags that people, to help people find your videos. YouTube tells you that that really doesn't help people find your videos. Uh, it uh, only helps if words are misspelled or if they're hard to spell, something like that. I, I don't know. It's been a long time since I read it, but it's a crock because most of my videos, you people who watch this channel regularly, see that most of my videos get about 20 views. That's about it. Some of them get more. I have, a, have had a few with uh, 100 and a few with 10, but this one has as of uh, the last time I looked, over 1,900 views on this channel. That is 10 times more than I've got on any other video. And people aren't out there going through my channel hoping that they'll see something about Finland or Sweden or NATO. Uh, the tags do make a difference. So if you're a creator, make sure you're using the tags you want to attract people's attention. So anyway, uh, it was interesting, I, I get a, a lot of people that are opposed to this. I mentioned in the video, and I'll link it in the, in the description below if you want to watch it, if you haven't already, but I mentioned that I thought that they would be good additions to NATO, and I, I still feel that way. But a lot of people don't feel that way. A lot of people uh, have issues with those nations uh, and it sounds like more people have a problem with Finland than any other uh, nation. And a, a lot of those people started arguing with each other. Someone would say, you know, Finland's a bad place. And no, Finland's a good, and they would get into a debate. And I, I don't know how many, let's see, 82 comments. That's a lot of comments for a video on this channel. It's not a lot of comments for my other channel. But it's a lot of comments for this one. And uh, it was interesting to see these issues through the eyes of the other side. I mentioned in there about Russia being aggressive. Holy cats, a whole, I'll get a, lot, a whole lot of uh, comments that were in Russian. And all I would say, I couldn't agree more. I don't know what they were saying. Uh, I was Somebody said I was mad. Not angry mad, crazy mad. Uh, that same person, for some reason, wanted to know why America invaded Laos and Cambodia, which we never did. We dropped some bombs over there, but we never invaded those countries. But it doesn't matter. Uh, it got a ton of comments. I had people telling me I didn't know what I was talking about. And uh, a lot of people who were obviously Russians talking at the they're obviously okay with with communism because they talked about Russian history while glossing over the whole Cold War thing, the whole the whole Stalin, uh, everything up to the collapse of, of of the Soviet Union. They gloss all that over and talk about uh, some of them talk about how Russia had has the right to uh, invade and occupy Ukraine because it used to be theirs. That's like saying England has the right to invade and occupy America because it used to be theirs, or France, or Spain, or Mexico, the parts of the United States that used to belong to other people. That's just not the way the world works. The Ukraine, whether you like it or not, is a sovereign nation. And I, as I've said all along, I don't care. Uh, let them have a knockdown, drag out fight, and let's do business with the winner because they're both, in my opinion, shitty places. Zelensky, Zelensky, God, I didn't even look it up because I don't care anymore, is just as big a thug as, as Putin. And the pictures of him, oh God, you conservatives that were out there when they would show the pictures of him out there with, a, with an AK-47 or whatever gun he was holding, like he was out in the streets fighting this battle. Come on, man, get real. Oh, we need a president like that. No, we don't. 
we need our military to fight our battles, not our president. And he was fighting nothing. Nothing. He was not out there on the front lines. He wasn't doing any of that. So stop. <laughs> Just stop. But they're both thug countries. Uh, some of the Russians are oppressed. Some of the Ukrainian people are oppressed. It's the way it is in Eastern Europe. It's the way it's always been. It's probably the way it's always going to be. These two have been at each other's throats since uh, 2014. Uh, I heard people refer to it as a civil war, but it's not a civil war. It's a, it's a conflict between two nations. Not, it's not an internal thing, but uh, there have been, but there have been internal factions in both countries, and I, the, the place is a mess. It's a mess over there, and it has been. The fall of the Soviet Union only killed communism proper. It didn't kill the way things happen in Russia or in any of those other countries over there. It doesn't matter. They still essentially operate in the same ways. And uh, I don't know. I just thought that it was interesting to see the whole thing from the other side. And I, I don't have a problem with those people voicing their opinions and... Uh, if that's the way they truly feel. It's just all I do on this channel is comment on things that I have read or researched and voice my opinion. I'm not a news service. Uh, that's another thing. I have people, I'll post something and uh, people say, well, why don't you post a link to that? You know what? Why don't you go look it up and stop asking me to do your homework? But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Uh, Seeing things from the other side is always helpful. Some of these people were obviously Russians, some were obviously Finnish, some were obviously Swedish, and some I don't know. Uh, some agreed with me, some didn't, and I don't care. I don't do these videos thinking that everyone is, or anyone, is going to agree with me. Post them because I want to post them. It's always interesting to see things from another point of view, a point of view that I hadn't considered. And some of these folks from Russia still hate Americans. It uh, sounds like some of the people in Sweden and Finland don't like America. They don't like NATO. It was really a pretty mixed bag of opinions, and I actually enjoyed it. Uh, I even had people say, because I mentioned them as Scandinavian countries, those aren't Scandinavian countries, they're Northeastern Europe or whatever they said. I don't care. You get what I'm talking about. I was astonished at the amount of uh, views and of feedback that video got. I think that I have discussed many more important things, but I don't generally talk about uh, foreign issues uh, like that. And I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's what I do. Maybe I would just tag Sweden and Finland in every video I post and <laughs> see if they watch it, whether it's about Sweden or Finland or not. Anyway, what do you think? Do you like uh, hearing other sides of you, or are you just stuck on your own point of view and your own opinion and you're not interested in what other people say? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motopoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. I'll see you all later.